friends. It is Larry the Video Guy from moreguitars.com and we are doing our part in social distancing right now and we're doing this video remotely from Power Plants Production Studios in Tell City, Indiana. And for my pick of the week, I am so proud to be able to be holding in my hands a 1968 Les Paul Standard Gold Top reissue from the Gibson Custom Shop. Uh, first of all, I got to give Brett a big thank you for allowing me to bring this guitar back to my studio to work with it. Um, this is an extremely rare guitar. Everybody, you know, you, everybody's into the 60s bursts and all this stuff. But let me tell you a bit about what makes this guitar so special. Um, first of all, one piece mahogany body with no weight relief. So, you know, get out your padded straps for this one. One piece mahogany neck with the long neck tenon joint that they used in the 1950s on this. Uh, it has the 1968 Modern C neck carve. It has the Cluson style tuners with the tulip keys. It has the P90 pickups that are attached to CTS 500K pots with the Black Beauty tone capacitors. They nailed this. And I'll tell you the reason why I can tell you they nailed this because they produced this guitar for about one year and then it transformed into this guitar, the 1969 Les Paul Deluxe. Um, and I happen to own one of them that I bought new when I was a freshman in high school, so I'm gonna tell you what Gibson got right on this reissue. Uh, first of all, this is the guitar that reintroduced the Les Paul in 1968. For eight years, there had been no Les Pauls produced with this body shape and this configuration. So they came out with this in 1968 because some of the, the blues players, uh, mostly the British blues players, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page in the mid-60s, were using these early Les Pauls, and people started saying, well, bring them back. We all want this now. So they came out with this guitar that is a very good reproduction of the 1956 Les Pauls. But everybody said, we want humbuckers. Why did you put the P90s back in them? So by the middle of 1969, they had repurposed these bodies and dropped in Epiphone mini humbuckers because they fit right in the pickup routes. So you got your humbuckers now, but of course, as the years went on, people saw how special these P90s are. And to get a P90 Les Paul with a 60s neck carve, it's just unheard of. This is an extremely rare beast. One thing I have to give Gibson Custom Shop kudos for, they even reproduced their mistake that they made on the headstock. If you notice, the headstock does not say Les Paul on it up here. It has the crown. They did add the Les Paul to the truss rod cover, but this was because somebody transposed some numbers in their original assembly orders for this guitar. It was corrected on June 11th, 1968, and I know that because I saw the work order change. This crown from June on was replaced with the Les Paul signature like you see on the majority of Les Paul guitars. But this is another thing that makes this guitar so very rare. Uh, it plays beautifully. When I got this out of the box, I have never in my life played a guitar that had such low action with no buzz. I actually had to raise the action a little bit just to be able to play it. Uh, this is just an incredible build on this guitar. Let's go through, um, I'll just give you a couple of sounds clean here that this guitar is capable of producing so beautifully. Uh, this is the bridge pickup tone all the way up. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, before I go on, I'm going to roll the tone back a little bit. Go down to about three on here, which is one of the spots that I really like for this. Uh, 
Oh, man. I just love this, if you can't tell. Okay, uh, both pickups. I'm going to put them back both in full tone position here. <laughs> and of course that sweet P90's neck sound. Absolutely incredible. And I will tell you, they nailed every detail on this. You could put this guitar, my guitar, and my hands blindfolded. I could not tell the difference between them. This neck feels like what I've been playing on since I was in high school. It is just absolutely incredible. Um, uh, just in case that I missed this before, it does have the ABR bridge with the nylon saddles like it had back in the 60s. Uh, lightweight aluminum stop tail piece on here, nylon nut, Indian rosewood fretboard. Believe it or not, Indian Rosewood is what they were using on these in 1968. Standard 12-inch uh, fretboard radius. Just an incredible instrument. Oh my gosh, I want this so bad. If you want it worse than I do, call the guys or chat online with the folks at moreguitars.com. This is probably not on the website yet, but it is available. Just call them. Tell them you want to talk to them about this gorgeous 1968 Les Paul Standard Gold Top reissue. See you next time from moreguitars.com.